What's good, YouTube? Plus Master here. Welcome back to Shiny Ho Ho TCG. Uh, I got my whatever. Uh, I'm qualified for Texas now, so you'll be seeing me down in Texas for show. Um, uh, I actually, cause I I wasn't going in. Okay. So I wasn't going in the tournament to win against any deck. I was just trying to build it to see how it would go straight main deck into water. Um, so it was it was it was the drinkiest thing I could put together to uh, see what. Uh, what what were the boundaries, you know? Um, and it actually did, like, decently. It was just, like, there was, like, those couple cards where it was like, ah, shit, this card's dead. Like, because I only really had it in there for Frog, and that was Hateful Demise. It was too much of a... Too much of a techie splash. I mean, it could see play in the side deck, but I honestly decided to take it out. And, um... Another thing is, like... Kind of what went down, right? What went down at the uh, extravaganza, the Kestra Society second extravaganza, was uh, that we saw the Cosmic deck get first using the Prismore and the Dampens. And then we saw the with Absorb Aura, right? Those cards, I think, are the highest notable cards that we saw played. And then we saw the second place deck, which was a Lightning variant that also used, like, Gassy and Fire, stuff like that. So, that deck also had five aura facts. Okay. So now I took my list off of kind of both of those. Because lightning has the shock aura. So with the shock aura, you should um, be able to utilize it similar to the prism aura. I don't even know. Jeez. They, like, called and hung up right away. I didn't even have to do anything. Um, but the, it's similar to, like, the Prism Aura, where it can, uh, fatigue for any aura type. So, I was going with, like, the Shock Aura. I went with the Chaos Crystal, Spark Root, and two Lightning Glass. But I was also playing the Absorb Aura, which it came, like, this deck is fixed. I'm not gonna, like, show you guys what I play, but I can, like, let you know while I'm doing the deck profile, like, the difference. Because I, I ended up having to side a lot. I wasn't main decking the Bs, so now they're actually main decked instead of side decked, basically. Because I just had to keep siding out the... The shit to be able to, to play. Um, which I was just playing a bunch of artifacts. So I would side out the artifacts and the hateful demises. And uh, throw in bees basically. And then go off of uh, that. And then put in cards that would help the matchup. But yeah. So it, it, was, a, it was a little clunky. And I felt it going on in the tournament. So, But that's what I wanted to feel. I wanted to feel the the inconsistency of trying to do it too much. So now I kind of, I, I know where the limit is. So that was, that, that was a l really good learning experience. But, so the main thing about the extravaganza that I think happened here is that to absorb aura and two aura facts are like meta now. It's either you play two absorb aura and two aura facts, or you play no aura facts. It just that's 
the meta right now. And the reason why you need to play the two aura facts, if you, you're playing the absorb aura, I believe anyway, is that if they're not playing the aura facts, at least you can absorb your own aura fact to be able to get the one energy for it. And then it's going to be the same thing. Like you might need to just absorb your own aura fact just to be able to extend your play because they're going to plus one if you don't do it. So it's going to become a weird thing. I, I was playing Dampen, so I was able to Dampen on um, the, the Absorb Aura. But then he was able to spread. It was Fearsome Critter. I can go over the decks I play. It was Fearsome Critter, so I was able to get there and smack it. Um, <clears throat> and killed the... It was a Chaos Crystal, too. So it was easy. I was just like, dang, I'm just trying to get there. Um, so, yeah, I slimmed it up a little bit. I don't really like the artifacts at all. So, um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll be going over um, some other stuff. There's supposed to be a list uh, that comes out that's supposed to be some hope I'm hoping it's just the list of all the playable fourth wall wilderness effects but it also could be like a list that will be like a pre blitz list to get you ready for like a blitz format in Dallas I'm not really sure but if it is like that I think I'm ready I've got a lot of cards got a lot of decks built already like I feel like it's almost gonna be like okay here's this and I just need to do this and that and then it'll be chilling um so we'll see uh so thank you guys so much for watching let's get into the deck profile remember to like comment subscribe consider backing us on patreon all right. All right. So that list I was talking about, you guys that I heard about it, it actually ended up being just uh, informing everybody that in the Texas tournament at the end of the month, you're not going to be able to use first edition Cryptic Nation. So if that is something that you need to worry about, I recommend go and trying to find some homies that hopefully have that card in second edition. Um, you can try ordering it, seeing, see if it comes in at time, but uh, you might, and it, I mean, it just, you know, supply is going to come into factor too, maybe in that, at that point, it, but you, you could risk it, and um, if there is just like a few cards you need, you can, hopefully they'll have them at a vending booth at the event, that way you can just pick up those cards. So, and hopefully the, a lot of those people are know that that's going to be like a thing. And I'm pretty sure, you know, they're going to have the second editions anyway. Um, just because be, those a lot of those cards are really good and they're in a lot of decks. So, yeah, let's get into the deck profile though. That, that was all it is. So, if you have first edition Cryptic Nation in your decks that you're going to Texas with... Um, you gotta switch those out to second edition. Sorry about that. Don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. Second edition is cheap, and you should be playing second edition anyway. What are you doing playing first edition? Don't flex like that. Just save those first editions. Alright. So, what I took to the event was Lightning. I was playing Quetz. I'll kind of go over the changes I ended up making. So I made this more consistent, basically, than what I went with. Because I just wanted to see... Because um, being able to Hateful Demise a Frog, which I didn't even play Water. I played Cosmic, which I won against. Then I played uh, Fearsome Critters, which I lost. It was 2-1. I lost to it. I just couldn't get a quetz out fast enough um because he kept just absorb ordering everyone absorb or my stuff more than i got to absorb or their stuff but it was a lot easier because i opened a lot more because i was playing so many so 
Uh, and that really hurt because it was like a minus one and a plus, I mean, not really like a plus one, but I guess they get the aura. So they just get to dig into their deck, you know, and hinder me. Uh, now I'm, I'm maxed out on the Thunderbirds. I really just like seeing this Thunderbird because, uh, he can trigger the Lightning Storm also. So, and then I'm playing, I just like this art of the Ball Lightning. So I'm playing two Ball Lightning. And I'm playing two of the Chibi Quets. I was trying to get this off as a trap, but it was really hard. I think traps are just really hard to play because, um... They kind of tend to just, people will just tend to like smack the thing the trap is under once you tapped out for aura. And uh, his other effect is really good, besides him just being a flyer. It's really good to just, uh, if he sits on the board for three turns, he'll turn into a quetz. So it's really good for that. But I'll, I'll go over like a little combo in a second once there's more cards out. But there is like a little way to get quets out on your opponent's turn two or turn three. Um, maxed out on the bees now. I I didn't play any bees in the main deck and I was just siding the five bees in. So now I'm just maxed out. Uh, they were pretty much, what was it? It was like... Um, Chaos Crystal, uh, Spark Root, Two Hateful Demise, and I think this was, I can't remember what that was, but yeah, yeah. so I can't remember, but that, that's pretty much what I ended up signing in. And the Paralyze, it's also, that's why, also why I really liked the Lightning deck, just because they have the automatic access to this card being able to kind of shut, shut them down, and you can, like, chain to their Lightning Bolt, uh, Lightning in a Bottles, you know, so then when they try to Lightning in a Bottle something, you can just Paralyze it, so it'll stand, but it'll be Paralyzed, so it'll attack for zero. So that was, like, really nice. And it's like just an obvious window to hit, you know. Um, two Dampens. The Dampens, I was playing them. I kept them in here. They're just really good. And they're easy to get off. So besides the Dampens, the only other one is like I... Like a guy was there and he was saying like four Quets is too much. And I'm just like, yo, four Quets and three Thunderbird is not enough. And I want more. So I'm playing one of these. When they kill the Quets, I'll just shuffle it back. That could also help trigger this uh, Chibi Quets late game. Which will be nice. Because that ended up happening to me where I didn't... I had the Quets in hand. I had it on board and I had it in Limbo. But I didn't have it in Spellbook, so... Um, let's see, <clears throat> and then the two Absorbors, I kept them in here, two Bookmark, uh, one Lightning Storm, this quest's not really in here, it's not, I gotta pull this stuff down, oops, sorry. Um, yeah, oh, well, one lightning storm, and then one of the stunning storm, which it doesn't really go off, I just don't have another lightning storm, so, that's why I was playing one, and now I'm playing two, so, and then we're, like, cut down a lot on the aura effects, so I'm just playing two lightning glass, just to be able to, eat, like, extend, and I can absorb aura, or if I have the opportunity to dampen it, I might do that. It depends on the game state, but I might just absorb it or it. And then I might not, I wasn't even thinking of playing it. Like if I, if I don't play these, I'm not going to play these. And I'll just play the shock auras. Uh, just because they can be absorbed aura. And then they're also basically a uh, prism aura. 
So I really like the, the shock aura a lot. And then uh, I bumped up the the lightning count by one. I was playing six lightning and two prism aura. But now that I'm playing less aura facts, I bumped up the lightning by one. And uh, yeah, so this has been it. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, so it was just Cosmic, round one. Um, cosmic, round one. And then it was Fearsome Critter, round two. And then uh, Nappa OTK, round three. So I lost to Nappa. I just didn't open very well. And Nappa's pretty... Decent um, in the sky because, like, it can kind of kill these things with some equipment. It can kill this, or it has the ability to hit these things also. So, Napa's pretty good. Um, I, I actually have a list I was working on, so I'll be coming out with that one too. It's Different than the last list. Uh, so the the payout, because it contradicts some of the stuff I said, but the payout should take care of, uh, take care of it, it for this deck. Which it's the, uh, what's his name? Tch. Indrid Cole. Yeah, so the deck is actually playing Indrid Cole. But, um, I actually might have, like, a combo to get Indrid Cole out easily. And, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, alright, let's, let's focus on the thing at hand here. The, the combo. So, uh, this can be played as a trap. So you can put this under the shock aura. So if you have... Pretty much, you have to have the quets in your hand, and then like, two, one tap lightning, obviously, to play the shock aura, and then one lightning. So, you'll be able to, if they attack the shock aura, you can tap the shock aura to activate the trap, which then you can tap your aura, so this is a turn... That you you can't do this your turn one, but your the second turn it'll be ready for your opponent's next turn, and then you tap the aura to act, play the quets from hand. So, and then you'll get quets out on. Technically, your turn two, uh, and then you'll get it. You'll be able to actually use it your third turn three, but you won't be able to use it your turn two. So that was like a nice little combo. And just the chibi quets are kind of like annoying when they're up in the air and shit. And they sit there, <laughs> you know, and it just takes three turns. So if you don't get quets, this helps you get quets for sure. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be coming out with the the, the, the list. I'm sorry, it's uh, a little bit lag on the side deck list. I was trying to deal with like go to the qualifier and you know see what's up with all the decks and what I wanted to talk about for sides and stuff like that. So I was kind of waiting on that. It just took a second to get to a qualifier. Um, which it was at Imperial, my local card shop down here in Vista. So I was super happy to be able to enter that. Um, what, 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 Um, and then, yeah, there were some people there from Cardboard Nadia, something like that, like that, Cardboard Nadia, Cardboardia. Cardboardia sounds like that's more like it. I think it's Cardboardia. Um, and they were pretty good. 
So, it was cool. Like, I just wanted to, you know, mess around and see what was too janky. And it turned out that it was too janky. So, it was, it was nice to have uh, the opportunity to play the Cosmic deck and uh, the Fearsome Critter deck. Uh, uh, the guy was a really good player for Fearsome Critter. He'd probably been playing in a while, I think. So, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I had fun. Lots of good games. And then my last run was against Nolan, which me and him play all the time, you know. So it was kind of just, yeah, it's that, it's that feeling like when you play each other all the time. It's just like, who draws better and shit like that. Which, he got the Absorb Auras on me, man. I thought I drew well. I was about to get a Quetz out, turn two. Absorb Aura twice. Just fell apart. Um, but, sure, y'all. Uh, I'm liking how the deck is now. It's definitely a lot better, so... Um, damn, I'm kind of tired. Just got really sleepy all of a sudden. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, be getting more deck lists out to you guys. I will be getting the side deck list video. But first, I'm going to be talking about potions. So, get ready for potion class. All right. Peace out. Have a good one. And stay safe. Huh?